Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, DU546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. So I'm really excited for what I'm seeing as a Giants fan this offseason. I know you all are seeing it too, and I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it, but Kenny Galladay we brought in, Adore Jackson we brought in, two kind of culture visits, two kind of visits that we brought them in here to see if they were a fit. We wanted to see if they wanted to be here. All of that good stuff, those two were brought in. Aziz Ojolari, Kadarius Tony. We brought in a lot of players that Giants fans are excited to see. And Giants fans are just excited to see all the talent that we brought in here. But I think the overarching thing is this. Joe Judge, ever since he set foot in this building, he has this team in the right direction. I just don't, I just can't remember seeing a culture like this since Coughlin and maybe like 2011. This type of camaraderie, this type of locker room leadership, this type of culture where it's really a team culture. You can say this, it's a team culture, but no, this is a team culture. Dave Gettleman would go out and get guys in the past and he would try to get them to, to fit this kind of culture, but it seems like him teaming up with Joe Judge has really taken this team to the next level. And I'm not going to be one of those people who take credit away from Gettleman. Gettleman has done a great job finding people who fit this team's culture and finding people who fit his coach. Because at the end of the day, the GM's job is to get players that fit with this coach and staff that fit with this team. And wow. You look at the defensive line. They're working out together. You look at the offensive line. They're working out together. You see the secondary, Logan Ryan. They just met in Florida a couple of days ago. And they're, they're running, you know, they're working out together. They're running all drills together. So it just it just gets me so excited because this Giants team has been so divided and so many guys who just wanted to come in, clock in, and clock out. And then you got guys like Odell who really someone who really wants to win. And he gets ostracized because he's so, you know, coming out of left field as a guy who really wants to win that bad that his teammates don't, they don't understand it. Eli Manning got demoralized by the lack of leadership and the lack of teammates around him that really had that same kind of drive. These guys were here to collect paychecks. We had guys that were happy to be in the NFL. We had guys that were just happy to collect paychecks. And it just makes me so happy to finally see this. Today, we had voluntary workouts. Over 40 people on this team. Now, of course, this isn't the best in the league. I think the Chargers or the Rams, one of those LA teams had over 70 people show up to work out. So that's a whole different story, but that's not really my team. So I'm not going to focus on that right now. But the Giants had over 40 people come to workouts during this COVID environment, during everything that's going on with the NFLPA trying to get people to not come to these workouts. It just shows that this team is together. It shows that this team is working together. They want to build those off-the-field relationships, and especially with things like the offensive line and the defensive line and the secondary. You have to rely on the people next to you, and they're relying on them in their everyday life. They're building those relationships off the field, which are only going to make the on-field relationships that much better. They'll know what each other are thinking, and it just makes me so happy that we finally are building something. We have a winning culture. Now, of course, we got to go out there and win. We have got to go out there and win. That is number one. We have to do that. But it seems that this team is completely dedicated, completely focused on that goal, and they're all together on it. I don't really look around and see guys that are just mailing it in, guys that are just saying, I'm here to get my check, and that's it. Because I looked around a couple of years ago, all the way up to the head coach. Do they really want to win? Do they really want to win? Or were they just there maybe to get some individual awards, maybe to pile up some stats, maybe just to have fun? But did they really have that winning kind of desire? And I just didn't know. I did not know in the past. Now it really seems like I'll give credit to, to people like Logan Ryan, people like Jabril Peppers, who were recruiting Kenny Galladay and Adoree Jackson here. And then Kenny Galladay and Adoree Jackson seemed like they wanted to be part of this team. 
Devontae Smith a couple months ago. It's turned into a meme at this point. But it seemed like rookies were looking at Joe Judge and the culture that he was building, and they wanted to be a part of this culture because it's very simple. We're here to win. We're here to work towards winning, and that's what we want here. Nothing else. You know, you don't you don't have to be a robot. You don't have to conform to some, you know, small box and, and not be yourself. We just want to win. So I'm just again, it is just it just is a great thing to look at as a Giants fan. And it makes me it makes me really excited about going forward, because when you have someone there at the head coach position, because this this makes me want to just make a whole nother video especially about Joe Judge. Because when you come in and you have a coach like this that brings in other coaches like Pat Graham, uh, other coaches on the offensive side that you're going to see help out with this offense and guys that he really is really walking step for step with, with their philosophy, along with Dave Gettleman. He works with Dave Gettleman and they're coming to these conclusions and getting these players to build this kind of a culture. But when you have that head coach, it makes a world of a difference. Tom Coughlin, maybe he was here a little bit too long. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Either way, he did not have the players. And it seems like those players were kind of tuning him out. Ben McAdoo, he was a goof. Ben McAdoo was just a straight goofball. He had the Denny's menu. He called about three or four plays his entire time as a head coach. As offensive coordinator, the dude was flawless. But as soon as he stepped into that head coach spot, it seems like he just limited his playbook, became very predictable, and it just wasn't it, it wasn't what he was supposed to be doing. And you see he still has not gotten back to even an offensive coordinator position. Pat Shermer, great offensive coordinator, great offensive mind, was still probably the most effective coach out of him and Ben McAdoo as far as an offensive coordinator when he got that head coaching spot. But on top of that, he was not a leader of men. Joe Judge has the X's and O's down, and whatever he doesn't have down as far as that, he delegates it. He knows how to delegate that, and he's leading the team. He's leading the team, not just through the play calling, not through just, you know, defensive or offensive or even special teams stuff or just training one or two groups. He's coaching this entire team, and this team has taken on the identity of his head coach. It started around midseason last year maybe even early last year, its head coach, the team the team has really taken on the identity of Joe Judge. And it doesn't seem forced. It doesn't seem like this is boot camp and this is, you know, military school. It seems like they're buying in. They love what they're doing. They love being a part of this team. And these are the kinds of rosters that you put together and teams that you put together that you see eventually making it to that promised land, making it into the playoffs, winning Super Bowls, because as long as we got the head coach, to me, everything else will fall into place. This guy is the guy. The, the one thing I'm the most sure about on this team is that we have got our head coach. I'm 100% sure about that, as sure as I've been about most things. More sure than the quarterback, more sure than the running back, more sure than, than pretty much everything else. We've got the coach that's going to get the best out of his players and build the, the right kind of roster. I just wanted to get on here and just sing Joe Judge's praises, sing this team's praises, because I expect a lot from them going forward. And I expect them to get better and better and better as everything goes along. I just can't wait to see it. You guys let me know what you think. I mean, I'm, I'm just really excited for this season. If you made it this deep into the video, come on, just hit the subscribe button. I make Giants content primarily, draft content secondarily, and during the season, I'm going to be doing a lot of reacting to pretty much most of the NFL games and everything NFL. So if you made this deep, go ahead and join the D6 squad.